Welcome back, everybody. Uh, I got uh, I got out of work early today. My name is Mike Rondo, by the way, in case you just joined me. And I think my camera's a little off. There we go. A little bit better. Um, I'm trying different angles with the camera. So in any case, I got out of work early. I have some personal time to burn. I burned some hours today. And I went and did my civic duty and voted. Uh, got that out of the way. So next Tuesday, I can just chill out, uh, relax, do some videos, and... Uh, <laughs> see what happens um but anyway that's not what we're here today today we're here to talk about the herb boot herb booth briar pipes and we're here to talk about my jack-o-lantern uh let me just do this this is a little there we go whoops let me get him back in focus there um see you can see the bit here and everything this is a fantastic pipe and on so many reasons why and i haven't seen many videos about herbs pipes um how i got introduced to herbs pipes is i watched an old video of george bruno and he had a pipe and i don't know what the kind of pipe it was um i don't know if it will if it was there'll be blood kind of pipe i'm not sure what it was but in any case he talked about it so i clicked the link just to check it out you know as i do as you do as everybody does and it was around, probably, no, probably around the end of September I saw it. And I was just getting into pipe smoking. And, you know, with the haunted bookshop and, and all that stuff, I'm like, well, let me see what he's got for a pipe. And I looked and I saw this one, and I kind of fell in love with, with this pipe here. Um, and who couldn't? This, this is an awesome face pipe here. And then, I saw he's got another one. It's more evil looking, which I'm going to have to order. Uh, I can tell you that right now. After, And the funny thing is, with this video, I didn't think I was going to do this video till about Friday, Saturday, prob probably Sunday. Because I figured I want to smoke this a few times, get a better uh, lay of the land for this pipe, see how it is and everything. And I can tell you from one sitting last night, after I was done doing the review of Sleepy Hollow, by the way. I'm smoking that again, so thank you again, Mark. So I'm smoking the Sleepy Hollow. I don't know if that was in focus. I'm all off canter here with, with this camera. I'm all, like, the way I got it set up, I'm, I'm all... But anyway, there we go. Better shot. So now you know. Sleepy Hollow, which is fantastic. And by the way, that video on Sleepy Hollow, I was off my game, so I apologize. I was worn out from work, and... And then I wasn't supposed to be on the Cantina cast, but then there was some things going on, and I thought I had to be on the Cantina cast, and it turned out I didn't, so I had things weighing on my mind doing that video. So I apologize. All you need to know is Sleepy Hollow is awesome. Get it if you can, uh, as well as this pipe. And this pipe, just it was funny, because I got off, off uh, the camera here, and I finished I was smoking it. I was smoking that pipe for another... 40 minutes uh, from that video, which was crazy because this, it's deceiving. It look it holds a lot, but I didn't think it held this much. It's more than uh, my Morgan pipes, which you can pack in quite a bit, and even my favorite pipe, the 7LE 320, which holds quite a bit. But this one, you can hold quite a bit in there, a little bit more than probably the 7LE, my, the author pipe. And this one was uh was crazy i was like wow and it stayed lit most of the time like most of the pipes if you guys see my videos you see i'm lighting all the time for the most part this one i don't know if it was the tobacco the way i packed it maybe i packed it great for once and not like an idiot um and uh it just it burned well it it was great and as Re renaissance piper noted i get my matches in here i don't know why this matchbooks isn't uh not, there we go uh noted he he even noted that uh you know as i was closing out the video the flavor the uh the flavor of the the flavor of the video the flavor of the uh tobacco changed and as he mentioned in the comments i suggest go through the comments there but anyway let's get into this i'm gonna now th you may hear a little bit of the crackling fire the sound effect that i use but you may hear the fan from this uh the heater because it is chilly in the shed because today 
Talk about a perfect afternoon to smoke Sleepy Hollow in a pumpkin pipe by her booth. And I'm even going to use matches to light this because I did that initially. I did the char light and I smoked a little bit more. I did two matches here. So we'll do the third match. Um, it's a perfect day for this. It's a cold, rainy, gloomy kind of day. Perfect Halloween weather. So we're going to do that. Now, hopefully my matches don't uh, blow out because this fan kind of it blows a lot, to be honest. So far, so good. And that tobacco is... Oh, it's so good. So in any case, I found Herb. I found the, the, the jack-o'-lantern pipes. And I'm like, well, I got to have that for Halloween. But last year it was a little too late. And the pipes are 200 and change. They're relatively expensive. I think this was 200 and change. I can't remember off the top of my head. But when you think about it, there's like, like if you got the Sherlock Holmes or the Dracula pipe, it's around that price, I think. Um, so it is, you're getting quality, I'll tell you that, um, what Herb does. It's amazing. So I might even seek out some more custom pipers. If anyone knows any, uh, let me know in the comments. Um, so I was like, I was going to get it last year, but I'm like, nah, by the time I get it, it's late or whatever. And then this year, I almost missed out on it. And I ordered, I think I ordered September 4th fourth and then herb and this is what i liked about it and this is why i'm raving about it is herb got in touch with me right after i ordered and said i have two pipes ahead of you mike i'll i'll let you know blah 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 and you know october comes i knew we had those pipes going i'm like oh and and not that i'm i would pressure him or anything and i and i wasn't trying to do that i was trying to be we, we had a good back and forth conversation and he was great and that was awesome he kept me informed answered my question when i needed it uh so I let it go a few weeks, and I, I sent him an email saying, well, I, only, I want to do a review of the pipe and with Sleepy Hollow. I had, you know, as I've said and stuff, but, you know, things the way they are. He had the other pipes and stuff. So it was a bit delayed, but I did get it on, on before Halloween, which is mad. And now I have this forever, so that's great. Uh, great things come to those who wait. And, and I did wait in... Uh, well, I'm out on this one, which is... I think the fan's causing some issues for me. So the other the coolest thing of this whole thing, besides this pipe, the only issue <laughs> or concern I have is the bit is a bit, it's kind of loose, but it's not enough where I'd be too concerned. It, it's not going to fly out or anything like that. It's perfectly fine, to be honest. Um... I think it's just me compared to my other pipes, which are like dead on. The Titus could be, this is a little loose compared to them, but it's fine. It's not going to fly off or, you know, it's not going to yank out or anything. Um, so the coolest thing is these guys, as you saw, when I undid the box the other day, you gave me tobacco which was great ah, it smells good uh he gave me a little bit that goes over the end there the little and i tried to put this on it just didn't look right to me it didn't fit right i don't know so i didn't go with that uh he gave me pipe cleaners which is always great and here's the kicker and i didn't even notice until just before i did this video he added a tamper another nail tamper so i got two now which was great uh, that was a nice surprise, and of course, gave you a, a, a book of matches, as you can see, and as I've used. Uh, sent the thank you card, handwritten thank you card, by the way, not like a computer generated. Sent the uh, thing, um, 
and I thought that was an amazing thing. That was great. You don't get that with uh, the major uh, pipe companies and stuff like that. Like when they send out, when you order a package, you don't get anything like that. And understandably, because they're mass produced. This is quality, and, and, and considering the, pr the price of the pipe and the quality of the pipe and the extras that you got, I thought it's worth the price. Like I think you get what you pay for with this. So I highly recommend, recommend getting at least the jack-o'-lantern uh, pipe. Eh. Feel bad I can never show his face. There we go. Uh, pipe because it smokes great. And like Renaissance Piper even said, I would smoke that all year round. And I got to tell you, after last night, after I did the video last night, and I was still smoking, and I wasn't lighting it that much, uh, and I was enjoying it. The tobacco, it just tasted so good. I'm like, I can't just have this, you know for October and I said all right I'll go till November and then I'm thinking no I'm gonna have this I'm gonna smoke this quite a bit because this is this is it's it made a, sh a spot on the shelf there so you know it's it's moved up the ladder pretty quickly uh compared to the Savinelli 320 the author pipe so the craftsmanship is awesome it feels good in the hand it's it's light too it's very light it's just it's a damn good pipe uh, and I'm very happy with it. So thank you, Herb. Uh, I will, of course, leave a link down below for you guys to check them out and order if you want one. He's got a few different types of pipes. Um, I think he's got a, he's got a, he's got the, oh, they, they will be blood, but he's got a church warden one, which I do like. And I thought about going that route for like a Christmas pipe. I don't have a Christmas pipe yet. So um, I got to find one of those for Christmas. That's next on the list, and uh, I might do that search after this, so we'll see. But in any case, just a quick vid video today, just a rant and rave about Herb's pipe. And I know you guys, some of you in the comments have talked about it. Oh, this is a great, I know Redcoats mentioned he liked the pipe. But, they, you know, Herb doesn't ship internationally, so that stinks. Because this would be great for Redcoat to sit there and tell one of his Halloween stories. He can certainly tell a story. Very captivating when he tells his story. I want him to read Sherlock Holmes now. So, Redcoat... I'm like enthralled in Sherlock Holmes lately. So, you know, maybe in November, you know, do a few Sherlock Holmes videos. That'd be great. But again, you don't even have to... I didn't tamp that much last night. See, I'm tamping a little bit, but... And it was just going in the tobacco... Is really really good. I mean, huh, I can't complain. Life is good, and this one it's a little longer than most of my pipes. I think the 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 longest pipe I have, and it's even longer than that. Well, it's about the same. Is this little little pipe here, which I love. This this pipe. I love this. This is probably going to be the Christmas pipe, really. But I'd like something a little bit bigger for the bowl. I mean, this is just a small pipe. But it's cool. I love it. Of course... Stayed lit all day, all last night. Now it's a little bit of a struggle, but of course it's not filtered, but that's fine. It's a very it's a special pipe. It's a unique pipe. I don't mind. I will say, uh, just quickly with the, the voting, 
So I wasn't going to do the early voting stuff, but I had some time to burn at work, and I was like, you know what? I'll go early, because I've never done early voting like that, or mail ballot or anything like that. So I was like, well, I might as well try it, right? I'll just take a few hours off of work, go down and see how it is uh, at the town hall. Went in there. It was pretty easy as pie. It wasn't very painless, really. I mean, you had to st stop. You had to where the doorway is so you can let people in and out. So you had to stay away a little bit. And then they call you in. You go in, show your ID. In Rhode Island, we show our IDs and, and whatever. And uh, I signed my name for the thing. And then they gave me the ballot, went off, did my thing, and then droop, into the box. And that was it. I think I was done no less than two minutes, maybe three minutes. It took longer to get up the main drag of where I live, uh, the main road in the, in the town, <laughs> than voting. Hmm. Anyway, that's it for today. Just a quick video. Um, I may take tomorrow off. What's tomorrow? Thursday? I think it's Thursday. I may take it off because I'm going to fiddle around with some podcasting stuff, I think. Um, and whatnot. So in any case, thank you for joining. Hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video. And uh, like, subscribe, share, whatever you got to do. Also, check out these pipes from her booth. And I will uh, see you guys next time.